what it do it is a very hot and beautiful day here in Georgia the high today is 91 so it could be way worse so I'm gonna go check the mail because I may or may not have a package in there but we're gonna check it out Ooh. mystery tackle box Check this out. Oh, trash hasn't ran yet. We'll just have to get the trash later. But we are gonna rip into this MTB real quick. We're gonna do a really quick speed unboxing of this MTB because my battery's about to die. So let's take a look at everything they sent me. Cool. We got the Guggen Filthy Frog. Eat me. Headbanger Rocker Head. Look at those. A Bill Lewis Crankbait. We got our Dibble. We got some Irresistible Tickle Tail Swim Baits. Look at that thing, guys. It's pretty juicy. Bruiser Baits, Fish the Best, The Avenger, Houdini, looks like a creature bait guys, love creature baits. We got some Daiichi, looks like two, maybe three aught offset worm hooks here. Mmm, Lake Fork Trophy Lures, guys this is the first Lake Fork bait that I've got and it looks pretty good garlic and salt impregnated lures with attitude a little stick bait gonna be using that for sure looks like we got a pamphlet on 10,000 fish and the yodo worm so that's what it was it's a yodo worm guys interesting never seen this before it's Guggen frog Guggen Filthy Frog, Pro Tips, Where to Fish It. And as always, check it out guys, Bass America from Catchco. Nice little sticker there. I'm going to put that on the laptop. Alright guys, and that's the MTB for July. Pretty solid stuff and I will be using it on the water. So check out the uh, Fish and Fun playlist and uh, you'll definitely see some of the stuff again. So it's 5.30 p.m. I got an ice cold watermelon LaCroix right here. And as promised, we got the turkey tacos. I got a taco trio here with just meat and cheese on it because we are gonna be trying out three, yeah, three Street taco, taco sauces by Ortega. So we have Asada three chili and garlic, mojo chili lime, and tinga chipotle tomato jalapeno. And since it's a trio, I'm gonna describe the flavor and how it tastes in three words or less. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the tinga chipotle tomato jalapeno. Smoky, mild, delicious. With mojo chili lime. Citrus, tropical, delicious. Asada, three chili and garlic. Right here, down the hatch. Traditional, garlicky, delicious. As you might have noticed, I used Delicious for all three, and I wasn't kidding. I highly, highly recommend these Ortega street taco sauces. They're new, so if you can find them at your local grocery store, pick them up, put them on tacos, burritos, fajitas, nachos, whatever you want to, because they are fantastic. So I'm going to finish eating these tacos, and um, again, 
Stick around for the unvaulting. All right, it's coming soon. What's up guys, so I'm back again, and just like I said, we are going to open the vault from my childhood and my early teen years. What if this changes how I can see you? Uh, I mean, I don't think anything that bad could happen that hasn't happened already. <laughs> okay. It's been like 12 years, so. Um, so like I said, this thing is super easy to open. Like I told you earlier, like my seven month old, probably like Lucas could probably break in in 10 minutes if he started playing just with this piece. Speaking of Lucas, we got our baby monitor here because parent life. So if you hear anything, it's probably the monitor. He sleeps with a sound machine, so. All right, let's see if we can get in here. Suspense. It used to be easy to open. Guys, I don't know if we're going to be able to get in here. <laughs> Hold on. You keep, like, twisting it when it's... What's the actual code? Oh, there's a code? Turn right two times to 35. Turn left <laughs> to 45. I thought it was 15. I think that says 45. 35. Turn right two times to 35. Turn left to 45. Let's see. So if we start at zero, we gotta go 35. Turn stop. twice to 35. Oh, you gotta keep going? It says to turn twice. Oh, let's see. One. Two. Okay. That was that was super easy. Oh, I closed it again. Let me open it. Let me open Let it. Let me open the zipper. Let me open it. Nerds. <laughs> these are probably disgusting. 20, 18 years old. Hey, comment down below if y'all want me to eat these old nerds on on a Him, video. Not me. Yeah, Darby. What's in there? CDs? Oh, there's one in here. There's one? Yep. Oh, two. There's two. What are they? Remember the Titans? Remember the Titans? Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey? Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. That's a good movie. They're both DVDs. Yes. So, okay. So I've I put those in there. I've never heard of this. Never? Never. There's two. Or actually, there might be three. It's really good. You should check it out. Bill and Ted's. Got it. Oh, I got some Christian sheet music from when I was in the praise band at church. Trading My Sorrows, Ooh, We Fall Down, Your Love is Amazing, and My Redeemer Lives. Got sheet music, y'all. Back from my guitar days. Got to pick up the guitar. All he right. still plays, just not often. What else is in this thing? Look at that. A macrame black hemp. A bug literally just flew out of it. No, it was probably fuzz from this. It was a bug. She's crazy. <laughs> that looks like a keychain that I made. It's a cool spiral. Is it blue? I've never seen the blue before. I think it's black. No, it looks blue. Yeah, that's... that's black. It's just black. What was that? Yeah. That's supposed to happen... <laughs> That's supposed to happen when the safe opens. So, sorry. I guess there was a delay or it got stuck. Maybe this is shoved in. I have no idea. Oh my god, that scared me. So this is pretty cool. I had a rock collection and I guess I thought this was worthy enough to go in there. Did you buy that or did you find it? Somebody gave it to me from a geology lab. Very heavy. Look. See, look, before we got into Legos, this was the extent of Lego that, like, I had ever done. Check it out. This is a one piece, and then you just clamp it down right here, and then I think, like, these came off. Yeah, that. It was, like, a three-piece Lego set from, like, a McDonald's I Happy Meal <laughs> or something. It came with, like, the stickers you put on. So that was that was the extent. Let's see. He, I loved Legos as a child. He did not. 
General Mills. Oh, so it was so in a cereal box. Cereal, box. yeah. So yeah, back no, material, I didn't. Back I didn't, material boxes actually could give. No, it's prizes. not that I wasn't into Legos. It's just I never was like I wasn't exposed to Legos. You're sheltered. I play video games. <laughs> <laughs> I had video games that I did my Legoing on. Oh, check it out. This it's like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Is a with cool on it. McDonald's. Look at that. From 1993. Wow. Okay, so I was born in 92. So that car, super old. I guess I thought that was worthy enough to go in there too. I don't think I would have got that in 1993, but someone did and probably gave it to me. I'm not sure. All right. What do we have here? Union Christian Church. Wow, 2006. 2006 Bulletin. Dad was preaching and Randy Hillhouse did the benediction. Shout out Randy Hillhouse. Cool. Pretty cool. Old, really old church bulletin. Oh my goodness. What's that? Your video game cheats. Oh, hey, if anyone played video games back in the day and didn't have a cheat code sheet like this, what were you doing? This was like the most fun. Buy City Cheat Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Man, I had a cheat code page, y'all. Cheat code page. And I'm not really ashamed. I enjoyed it. What is that? I believe it's a project you did that you had to create a book jacket for a book. Cool. What's it say? Um, apparently this is a New York Times not Notable Book of the Year. I'm not sure if that's a real award, but... Thanks. Evidently, this book has won it. I am a skilled author. And it's a national bestseller. National bestseller. It costs $15. <laughs> That's right. That's how you market. <laughs> oh, goodness. So you want me to read the summary? I'll read it. Let me okay. read it. It's called Gavin Lamb's Life with Labrador Retrievers. Gavin Lamb's Life with Labrador Retrievers. Check it out. Look at all those pictures I printed out of labs. How cool is that? For people who love dogs, this is a story for you. These are the amazing adventures of Gavin Lamb and all the dogs he's had throughout his life. He uses complete descriptions of every adventure and is a complete master of imagery. Guys, did you know that about me? <laughs> master of imagery. I know you think that about yourself. Whoa! <laughs> people <laughs> of all walks of life will enjoy this thrilling adventure of man's best friend. And then I even labeled that picture of those pups man's best friend. So, I mean, check it out. If it's out there somewhere, it's called, uh, yeah, check it out. So, look, I got some cards here. I can't begin to count all the happy times you and I have had, all the sweet things you've done for me, and the part you play in my favorite thoughts and dreams. I love you so much, baby. I can't wait to spend forever with you. Oh, this is from me. 30, 30 days and counting. Hope you have a great day. Days. I am so thankful to have you in my life. You are always there beside me through oh, every high and gracious. every low. I could not handle this life without you by my side. I love you more than anything. It would have been fantastic if I put a date on there. Forever and for always, your Darby. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Wife, wife life, you know Back what I mean? That's when I actually bought you cards. Look, this must be another. I will love you on days when you're perfect in my eyes and the days when I wonder why you do the things you do. It's every day. Okay, well, you you <laughs> told me even before we got married that you would love Did me. Did I? Who knows when I bought this? I don't know, but it says love you more I than need, anything. I so need to you, start putting dates to. in these things. That's but about. if it was in here, then it was probably before we got married. Everybody needs flashlights. Mm-hmm. Does not work. Doesn't work. Do you want to know another cool thing? What? You still on the vintage bulletin? Yeah, because do you want to know something about it? What? I think that has the event listed that was our first date. Really? Ever. Like. What year though? This is 2006. Wouldn't that be about right? Mm, no, it would have been later. I was like a freshman in 2006. I didn't meet you till sure? later. I'm sure. Uh oh. That could be accurate. Guys, this is a bracelet that some girl made me at camp. 
that I had a crush on. Actually, she made she made one for me and my friend Devin. Meaning. And I don't know. Maybe we were in competition for. Her. I have no idea. But I I had a Evidently, crush on her. Evidently, both of you lost. Well, I mean, she made this cool duct tape bracelet for us, and I remember wearing it even in the ocean later the ocean. on summer vacation. Yeah, when I went off summer. Oh. I wore it for so long. Oh. And, like, apparently I tried to even fix it with, like, electrical tape, which does not work on duct tape. No. So don't do that. Don't make that mistake. Well, I'm sorry that that long-time love ended for you. Uh-oh. Guys, looks like I, I tore something out of our junior high paper about skaters about how skaters and jocks is like a uh some article that some skater wrote about skaters and jocks and how we don't get along i don't know how that was even allowed but i i felt that that was worthy enough and i was a little skater punk that i should keep this because you know what we we, we, we were at war with the preps man junior high uh oh hey no, it's not my writing. Somebody, uh, no, it's not somebody yours. Somebody made me a Ooh. bookmark because I needed one. Would you put the bulletin down? <laughs> Quit with the bulletin. Here, read this. Something new. Gosh, she is. I'm trying to figure something out. Well, how important. has your hair, or your hair, your handwriting gotten worse as you've gotten older? It hasn't. It has. This is so much neater. I don't think I wrote that. Says your name on it. Yeah, I probably yeah, I probably did that. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> what that is. Oh. Well. She's married like now, had, she? Yeah, so am I. <laughs> this is a girl that I went to school with. Her name was Roxy. We dated. We didn't actually date. We never went on any physical dates, but we were boyfriend and girlfriend in like sixth grade. Which, that's what you do in sixth grade. So, I had her dad's number, her mom's number, and her grandparents' number. She so. evidently wanted you to get in contact with her, didn't Yeah, you? we were going to stay in touch, for Did sure. You? Uh, I think we called each other like three times over the summer, and then we broke up the first day of school of seventh grade. I actually remember that. But we actually stayed friends, so if she ever watches this, I'm not putting last names in this, but if Roxy ever watches this, it's cool. Thank you. It's cool. For all the numbers. <laughs> What? It's cool. Well, yeah, like, no hard feelings. Like, uh, Twelve years later. I don't know. I, Actually, what? Okay, you're making it awkward. <laughs> Look, guys, got a name tag with my name on it. Cool. I don't know what it was from. A I name think, tag with your name on it. I think this was actually from Peace Street City Christian Church. We had to like have these with like stuff around our necks to actually go to the classrooms at church because there were so many kids. So that's. I think that's what this is from. And I guess somehow I just ended up keeping this one. Or maybe it was for school. I can't remember. But I think it was from church. And I thought it was really cool that I had a badge that had my name on it. I thought we it was like FBI or something. Like what the purpose of things that we keep on. Uh, Tech Deck. <gasps> my very favorite one, Black Label. How do you do it? Yeah, we'll practice. <laughs> but I might be able to. Oh. No. No. Nope. Andy Schrock would be disappointed in me. Nope. I need to practice too. <laughs> the grips, it's worn out. It's old, dude. It's in a vault. All right. Oh, goodness. I have an extensive How, bookmark collection. Did you just I don't know. Keep I do. We, yeah, I mean, there's everything from Gollum, Martin Luther King, you School got of Rock. From your mother. Uh, Six Flags one. Baby G in the house. Yeah, what's up? That's a hundred dollar. <laughs> that was a hundred dollar bill on y'all. G in the house. Juicy I don't know fruit what and that Six is. Flags. Look, Mr. Six or whatever his name oh, here's was. Here's some coupons. They expired in 2004. Well, we won't be using those. <laughs> All right, only a few things left, guys. One of them is a juggling ball, oh. and there's only one. So obviously, I was not good at juggling, but I was good at throwing a ball. You can't <laughs> even do one. She can't even do one. Yeah, you need to practice. Hand-eye coordination. All right. Maybe I should just use it as a hacky sack. Oh, yeah. So this was in there. Apparently, it's something I had to, oh, gosh. Something I had to write, and it's called my Geobot. I don't know. I guess I had to write this. I don't know when I had to write this, but I have just created a Geobot. Her name is Techno Girl. 
She is made of geometric shapes. She is special to me because I've built her. She has orange hair, blue eyes, and rosy red cheeks. My <laughs> Geobot is more than looks. Oh. She is also a great servant. She helps out around the house, cooks dinner, and goes to the grocery store. That sounds like... A mom. Um, yeah, is that my mom? <laughs> is that my mom? I don't know. I mean, I would have said wife, but you were probably very young when you wrote this, so I have a feeling you weren't thinking about that. So. I just oh, wanted I just... a wife that rubbed my back at night. I didn't get that. He did it. <laughs> <sighs> but I don't treat her like a slave. I treat her with respect <laughs> and all my love. She even eats Ooh. things like bolts and nails. It's kind of annoying at the dinner table. I'm trying to eat and all I hear is kink, kink. But I don't say anything because it's too funny. I guess she's my pride and joy. What would you do if you had a Geobot like this mine? This is his wife. I certainly hope you wouldn't take advantage of her. I don't think you could because Techno Girl is a one of a kind. That's my Geobot. Ooh, Ooh man, I told everybody. You can't have a Geobot like mine. And so if you thought you could, you can't. I think this just got thrown in there. This is actually just the uh, the whammy bar on my uh, Stratocaster, Fender Stratocaster guitar. I gotta well, put got that, that back. Um, this looks like the jacket on uh, Luke Skywalker when he went to Endor. Uh, it's an action figure. Um, I'm nerdy, so sorry. That's very. It's a Star Wars action figure cloak. Sorry, it's in there. All right, I got some more Star Wars stuff actually. Um, these came, I believe, with They're action red. figures, and red? you could like put them on top of this thing. I think there's something scanned, and like when you put them on the thing, you actually heard the voice. Oh snap, guys, check it out! Dare graduate. I graduated from the Dare program. Said no to drugs. There's a world of fun in Kansas. Well, that's not where I went. <laughs> um, Oriental Avenue. This is. An Oh gosh, I couldn't hold on to it. This was a McDonald's play piece from the McDonald's Monopoly. <laughs> really? And maybe I thought I was going to win a million dollars, and I never did. One last item, y'all, and it is just a oh, so old cool. cool tin of Wrigley's Double Mint Chewing Gum. It's empty, but fun fact, my rebellious stage in life, I actually used to hide my cigars in here. So... Still yep, smells, like smells like cigar tobacco. So, uh, oh, that was that's fun. A little cigar action. It's cool that it smells like that, though. I kind of like the smell. Um, but that's a cool tin. You put your coins in there. You can put a bunch of cash in there. Cigars, whatever you want to, guys. You can put in this thing. So that's cool. And um, looks like there's one more Monopoly piece and two more coins. And that's it guys, and that's that's the vault. That's it, that's the stuff that I thought was important enough to stuff in this vault as, as a kid and as uh, adolescent. And all that stuff has been in there for years, so. I mean the earliest, the newest stuff are probably the two cards from me. Yeah, the two cards from you and like the sheet music, and that was like still. All about the same, I mean at least. That was still like almost a decade yeah, ago. Yeah, at, at least so, years ago, if not more. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's pretty cool. All that stuff that's in there. And uh, that was it, guys. So hope you enjoyed it. That's just a little bit about my childhood in a vault. So give this video a thumbs up. And with that being said, I think this is the perfect place to end life log number 10, guys. This was the big shebang for life log 10. I wish I could have gone somewhere, done something a little bit cooler. But you know, social distancing and whatnot, and just being busy. It just didn't happen, but we emptied the vault. And like I said earlier, Penny Sage is a penny earned, guys. Thanks for watching this one. Stay tuned for the next one. Love you. Peace out. Bye, guys.